بسم الله الرحمن الرحیم سلام های فراوان خود را خدمت تمام بینندگان عزیز تلویزیون ایمان پروگرام جهان ورزش تقدیم می دارم خوش آمدید به پروگرام امروزی ما به قسمت میریم یک مسابقه بسیار جالبه که بین تیم ملی افغانستان و فلیپین دایر شده بود میریم این بازی بسیار جالب است سکور را براتان نمیگیم بریم مسابقه را ببینیم البته خود مسابقه از یکصد و چند یکصد و ده دقیقه زیاد بود اما نظر به مشکلات تا ما ایره ما هایلایت هایش را جور کردیم میریم این مسابقه را میبینیم البته گفته میتونیم که بچه هایی که با کالای سرخ هستن از تیم ملی افغانستان هستن بریم مسابقه را ببینیم Always our alma mater to do the anthem of Afghanistan. Yeah, yeah, it's got to be game on in just a little bit at the Hitadu Stadium. We'll tell you a bit more about this uh, lovely place and also about our lads on field in just a little bit. So, well, do stay with us uh, for that. Now, I did inform you about Valentin Kovalenko, our referee. Uh, two men up there, Patrick Alcala Reichel and Ruben Doctora. Valentin of uh, Philippines and for Afghanistan, of course, it's Harun Fakhridin Amiri. So here's the lineup for Afghanistan. Mansur Fakiri need the bar. Abbasin Ali Kill, Harun Fakhruddin, Fazal, and Hadid Mustafa in defense. Zamir Daudi, Mustafa Azad Zoy, and Shayeshte, and Muhammad Yusuf Mashriki, and Ahmed Arish Hatifi will be in midfield. In strike, it's Bilal Arzu. Remember, Afghanistan are coming away from big success. They won the South Asian Football Federation Championship. They've grown from strength to strength. To the action right here at the Hitadu Stadium with Afghanistan kicking off proceedings. Afghanistan will be looking for an early way through. And uh, sweet defense there, being put up by Jerry Rubin. Got an opportunity for Afghanistan. Well, that's stretching it a bit too far, and well, no one's really going to get close to that. But Afghanistan still working around. The Philippines will take control. That ball stretched. Down the left flank. Ruben. Slipping it to Rota. Well, it's a quick run into the goal area for the Afghanistan defense, fairly strong. Bless it, bless it, bless it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. 
Well, Philippines beginning to look dangerous here, and the Ascals are taking this forward. Well, that's a good bit of pace generated down the left flank, and defensive measures by Afghanistan. Well, it suddenly looked like the Ascals had a chance to cut through. But the Lions of Khorasan are a strong side by themselves, so it's not going to be that easy. Simon Rota, James Young husband, will be kept away. Afghanistan clean possession. It's now down to Ali Hill. Back to Zamir Dauti. And the long ball. Well, Neil Etheridge with the clearance. What well, can be actually dangerous moments like these, you could actually knock the ball straight into the goal. An own goal risk there for the Philippines, but Etheridge is himself has grown stronger and stronger as the days have gone by. We'll tell you a bit more about him. He's still employed by Fulham. In England, he's now 24 years old, has been loaned out to many clubs in England, but he's one of the key goalkeepers at Craven Cottage for the future. And, uh, well, lads from the senior team or from the, the A team have nothing but praise for him. Well, that was a close call for the Philippines. And what a miss. They're going to rue that. Afghanistan getting close. Hatifi. Well, didn't read that coming. That seemed to have been the main issue for Hatifi. Lovely delivery. Well, lands straight into the goal area. But Hatifi glancing it past the near post. Well, the Ascals hold strong, yeah. Well, that's got to be another attack. A lovely delivery. A lovely assist, sorry, from Mustafa Zadzoi. Philippines defense picking that up and that's going to sail away from the target. But it's a shot all the same that comes from Hadifi. Well, he wants to hit the target as soon as he can. Let's tell you a little bit about our encounter here today. This is a Group B encounter. And it's this is what Group B is made up of. Turkmenistan, Afghanistan, Philippines and Laos. I pretty much would like to call this the group of death because in the other group, We've got Myanmar, Palestine, Maldives, and Kyrgyzstan, which is also a tough game by the odd goal. Well, that's another close call. Well, the whistle's going to do away with all the efforts of the Afghans there. But Afghanistan are laying it on very thick as far as the attack is concerned. Well, I kind of wonder whether the absence of Phil Young's husband will be... That's straight through, but picked up by Fakir Yar. So not a worry. Well, the Philippines did have a chance there. But they've yet to come threateningly close, like Fakir Yar. And that's picked up by Fakir Yar, 20 minutes into the game. And the battle still rages on here between the Ascals and the Lions of Khorasan. Well, that's picked up safely. A quick movement there from Stefan Schrock. And it's going to be a corner opportunity for Team Philippines. And that's the change that we have. Chris Greatwich will come off and Jason De Jong goes in for him. 
So an opportunity. Well, that's, that's a good arm actually, but Fakiri are making a routine save. Let's also remind you very quickly that on the half-hour mark, we do have a water break. Let's see the humidity levels. The humidity levels being very high here, but the prehydration always helps. Japan Schrock. This is star in the Bundesliga, plays for Eintracht Frankfurt. Well, a lot of the Afghan players actually do play in the Bundesliga or in Germany. And Sir Fakiriar himself plays for VFB Oldenburg. Abbas and Alikil plays for FSV Frankfurt. It's going to be a free kick opportunity here. With Mohamed Bashriki being brought down. tell you about the other players who play in Germany but right now struck nice and hard but Gerardo gets a foot to it to knock it away it's going to be a counter attack from the Philippines will they be able to carry it through it's down to Jason De Jong squares it off to James Young husband and that's pulled away by Arun Fakruden. Well, he's such a star. He plays for Dempo Football Club in Goa. Um, Goa in India, of course, well, unknown to a lot. Has a great Portuguese influence, and football is, well, other parts of India really worship cricket. Football in places like Goa and in Calcutta and Bengal is really the staple diet of the sports lovers. So, Dempo Football Club. They are big giants in the I League, that's the Indian League. And uh, Fakiriar is a very strong well, component in that team. Well, tries to keep that ball within the field of play. It's a bit tough here for Schrock. Did get a chance to speak to him uh, two years back. He's a lovely lad. Really proud to be playing for the Philippines. Born and brought up in Germany. Has played for Germany at all levels. Under 16, hey. under 17, oh, under 18. Hey. Now with the senior team. Came back to play for the country that his mother belongs to. He said it was a kind of a tribute to her. Open. Open. Well, Etheridge. Takes the kick quick enough. Uh, Neil was looking for Simone. Not to be fairly quick. By Fezel. Shayesh State. That one's part through, but rather gently, and Mansur Fakiria will pick it up safely. Uh, just to give you the right, well, height was a native of Talak. She's uh, Filipino by descent and started playing football when he was nine years old. His height, of course, got him the direct and his ability to basically block off the shots got him a very, very immediate uh, placement as a goalkeeper. With the English under 16, he won the victory shield in 2005. Back to Neil Etheridge. Etheridge trying to keep his lads motivated. Oh, 
that's quickly knocked away. Christian De Jong seems visibly upset about something. Got possession snatched once again. Put knocked back. Rota finding Jason De Jong, who's well lost possession once again. Hazard Zoy regains balance. Oh, that's so what. Well, that long shot could have been such a threat. Fakiri are, well, taken by surprise. And Stefan Schrock, he's causing a few tremors there in the Afghan defense. Oh, boy, oh, boy. He stretched that all across. Well, almost, almost does it for Stefan Schrock. Run back for Hadid Mustafa. Well, I think we've skipped the water break. Probably trying to make up for time. We did lose an hour today, remember? Oh, that's a lovely setup, but that's picked up by Neil Etheridge, who had his eye on the ball. Jason De Jong taking this forward for the Ascals now. Well, he's moved that over to the left flank. And that's going to be regarded as the first foul of the game. Well, mysteries of football, if you think about it. And uh, he was guilty of bringing down Ruben Doctora. The reason why I say mystery is it's a card. The referee does show it to you. He doesn't give it to you. It has no name. It has no callback number. You don't even get to keep it. So, well, just looking at the lighter side of it. Free kick opportunity for the Ascals. Well, that's knocked straight up. Fakiri, I won't have to worry too much about that. And it looks like Jason De Jong got a foot to it. Well, this young man, Mansur Fakiriar, he was really instrumental in taking uh, Afghanistan all the way to the title in Nepal in the SAF Championship 2000. Well, it was it underwent a whole lot of renovation, especially for this event. And uh, I should say that the Maldivian football fraternity has done a best base to visit the various uh, Maldivian communities so that free kick opportunity for the Philippines not working too well that's a huge British influence here from the British being here 40 minutes into the game we're just five shy of hitting half time and let's not forget we will have a bit of added time thrown in for stoppages no water break today like yesterday Here we are powering that through. It's definitely an offside call. And he's painfully let that his old Sakisa though. Might 
be something here for the Afghans. Well, that one has been put wide once again. And it's Ahmed. The Afghan lad, Kolenko, is not happy for that delay. And it's Amiri, Harun Fakhruddin. And that's what transpired back there. Wasn't fairly worthy of a fall, that move. Oh, that's off the crossbar. Boy, oh boy, that was the best chance for the Philippines. And Mansur Fakiriar has picked up that second effort. So it's... will be the Ascal Chateau. Has picked up a caution as well. And Chateau picking up a caution for that action. Patrick Reichelt was quick to get him away. Well, Stefan Schrock will get in on that through pass. And Schrock has once again lost possession. Any damage control being done there by James Young Husband. Well, in with a chance here, and that's not going to be a foul. And Fakiria are having a word there. With Patrick Reichelt. And that was regarding a dive, and that's exactly what Hadi Mustafa was shouting him about. Squash it right there, says Kovalenko. Moves in Palestine. Well, did get off their. Oh, sorry, Myanmar and Palestine got off their campaigns to a good start with three points in the bag, respectively. Schrock is tackled, and that's definitely going to be a caution. Kovalenko pulls out one over Hatifi. Well, did kind of escape the tackle, but the reason why Kovalenko will pull out a caution is that's a detrimental move. Twelve appearances for the Philippines from 2011 with three goals. So trying to make a few inroads of both squads here on field. Lovely through pass. 
that sent away quickly by Daisuke Kesato. Well, Hadid Mustafa losing possession, and that's going to be another caution pulled out for Mustafa. And it's Raquel who takes, well, the tackle. So here we go, now the yellow card being pulled out. Gonna be a free kick opportunity for the Ascals here. Shock takes the free kick. Kiria will make the save. Forward by Martin Stubel. By Kelp. It's Stubel back again. Stubel takes the shot. And that's put away by Mansoor Fakiriar. And good defensive work being done by Fezel Sakizada on the back line. Adid Mustafa. Well, you're going to get that away. Stefan Schrock will take control. It's back again with Reich Held. Now stepping in, Jason De Jong. Jason De Jong puts it past the left post. Oh, that was a sure enough chance here for De Jong to have got that in. Well, chances like that are few and far in between. Gets the better of Harun Fakru then. Fires that one through. It's just about the accuracy element. And Jose Porteria comes in for James Young Husband. Jose Elmer Porteria. Porteria plays for Kaya, he's 20 years old. an opportunity taken by Hadid Mustafa and Mustafa's desire replaces Yusuf Mashriki Mohamed Yusuf Mashriki off the field, Mustafa Zazai is in for him. <laughs> Stefan Strzok once again. Dragging that through a couple of times and they will get a free kick. Strzok is down again. That's very clearly tackled by Hatifi here. Good boy. 
Davidi. Slipping that back rather quickly. Now Fezzel. The Lions of Khorasan just lacking the row here today. Good ball in, but turned out by Girado. And that's going to be a corner opportunity with Terry Rubin being the obstacle here. Can the Afghans make the most of it? That's a big question here. That's put past the away posts so and no way through. Well, got the ball to curve and actually beautifully, but unfortunately. Habibi hasn't really been at his best either. I need you there. Come. I need you here. Come inside, Jackie. Come inside, Jackie. That's not my shoot. That's not my shoot. Hello, drop. 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 Hello, Well, a very good chance here for the Afghans, but he's kept at bay, Mustafa Zadzoi. Well, he certainly pounced on that. What an opportunity missed. Well, chase that down, Will. You've got to give him at least a six on 10 for that effort. That long ball being picked up by Zadzoi just outside the box. Well, he's rushed in. He did have Ruben and Sato to deal with, but ultimately it was Jerry Ruben Lucena. Well, who did manage to save the day. Also played as a defensive midfielder. He was a former captain of the United States national team. Made 81 appearances for the United States with seven goals from 1992 to 1999. Here are the teams that Thomas Dooley has played for. TUS Landstil, FK Pimacense, FC Homburg, FC Kaiserslautern, Bayer Leverkusen, Schalke 04, Columbus Crew, and Metro Stars. He has managed FC Sarbuchen, United States assistant coach in 2011, and this year he took over the reins as manager of the Philippines. Corner opportunity. It's a shot corner for the Philippines. That's tucked into the danger area, and the Afghans managed to clear it. And it's straight into the waiting arms of the Afghanistan national team, known as the Lions of Khorasan. They were founded in 1922. They joined FIFA in 1948, and the Asian Football Confederation in 1954 as one of the founding members. They do play their home games at the Ghazi National Olympic Stadium in Kabul, which is the capital of Afghanistan. In the Asian Games in 1951, they placed fourth. In the SAF Championship 2011, they were runners-up, 2013 champions. But in the Challenge Cup, that's the AFC Challenge Cup, 
They've only made the group stage in 2006 and 2008. Eric Ruth Moller is their manager. He's a former German footballer. He's played for SC Borussia Rhein, SSV Kottingen and FC Cologne. He's managed the Cologne under 19, the Cologne 2 and the main Cologne team. Has also managed Borna SC, FC Hansa Rostock. Has been assistant manager for Germany from 94 to 2004. German under 20 manager from 2003 to 2005. Iran assistant manager 2008 to 2009 and caretaker manager in 2009. Estiglal assistant manager 2009 to 2011. And this is his first, well, Asian team that he's fully managing in, in Asia. Not as a caretaker, but as full on manager. Uh, took over the reins of the Afghanistan team in 2014. That's at the start of this year. Um, that's a quick run we're looking at from Stefan Schrock. Schrock gets it into the danger area. Oh, that could have been such an unsuspecting goal. Good save by Mansoor Fakiriar. And the second time around, this time he keeps Sato at bay. Oh, that is terrific work by the Afghan custodian. Boy, oh boy, he has been in terrific form here. Here's Fakiriar. That ball could have just turned in. He does get it away. An attempt to clear it by Hatifi. Sato gets on top of it. It's a strong left footer from Sato, and that was goal bound, definitely. Fakiriar once again. Well, saving the day for the lines of Khorasan. Was just talking about well the various the two managers and Eric Rutbola currently is he's uh, 59 years old. Oh, what a miss here! Shrock rising high, but couldn't get to it in time. And I do stand corrected. Eric Rutmoller, 69 years old, and his counterpart. At the other end, that is Thomas Dooley. He's 52 years old. The Masterton's in ages between the managers. That was a good left footer from Sato. A great save by Fakiriar. Mansoor Fakiriar made his debut for the Afghanistan national football team in 2011. And the main thing that the Afghanistan well, football fraternity thought all that while is, where was he all this time? And uh, it was a 3-0 win over Bhutan in his first game. In 2011, he collected five uh, caps overall. He was voted best player of the tournament in the SAF 2013. That's the South Asian Football Federation Championship for his uh, goalkeeping efforts. He's played for FC Union 60 Bremen, FC Auburn Newland. Goslar Air SC and now plays for VFB Oldenburg. From 2009 for Oldenburg, he has made 101 appearances. Well, see, that's the thing. He's groomed abroad, playing for. What makes Fakiriar different is he spent so much of time fending off attacks by some of the speediest and fast, fastest footballers um, in Germany. And this is. Well, the Philippines in with the chance here now. Well, can they make the most of it? That shot's taken past the left ball. So what a miss here for Stefan Schrock. Well, breaking down the Afghan defense just for a little bit. It was quick work being done there. Porteria finding Schrock. Schrock dancing his way through. Well, takes the shot, but no worries here for Fakiriar. He had his eye on the ball. Yeah. 
So still goalless here at the Hitado Stadium. Thiago steps out. He's chasing the Jong back again. De Jong sends it down to Rota. Rota back to De Jong. He's on the right flank. That's not the way easily by Pezel Sakizada. Well, this time it's a PP. He's quick off the block there. Bilal Arzu steps in. Oh, that's over the crossbar. Couldn't get the accuracy factor down right. And I do stand corrected. It's not Bilal Arzu, but it's Shaeste, where he took the shot on goal. Afghanistan over a period of time have had a lot of managers. It's only the second time that they've got, or the third time that they've got a purely German manager. Their first manager, of course, was Nikolai Efimov. He was Russian. Um, that was way back in 1978. Then, of course, a long period of time till October 2002 when football resumed. But Mohammed Yusuf Kargar, who was their manager from 2008 to 2009, and 2010 to 2014, well, they've definitely seen the best, well, football years under him. And he's the one who gave them the great kickstart. Also remains one of the most successful sportsmen in Afghanistan. Kargar, he's a lovely man. Oh, what a save here. Once again, Mansur Fakiriar. Oh, he's definitely been the standout player for the Lions of Khorasan today. Didi will be kept away with Stubel knocking that ball out of play. He says a left back. He's one of the most capped Afghan players of all time. 30 appearances for Afghanistan with three goals since 2005. Works as a left back. Lex, the players in defensive midfielder most often. It's Reichelt. And Reichelt will be brought down there by Hadidi, which means it's going to be a free kick opportunity for the Philippines. There's absolutely no doubt about the fact that it was a foul. Didi with the challenge. Raquel taking the ball. It's going to be struck again. It was also good mates with Mansur Fakiria, by the way. He's not too well. well. He's a big boy behind there. Afezel Sakid Zada. That's good defensive work being done by him. He's fairly massive, if I'm not mistaken. He is about 60. Towers way over well struck. Corner opportunity for the Ascals. Stops up nice and easy. The Afghan custodian. It's not discovered well. Oh, that's what you call speed from Stefan Strock. Oh, he's got his intentions very clear here. But he's got now three men in red to deal with. But what's he going to do? Oh, Strock is down, and it's going to be a free kick opportunity. Hey, 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 hey,
Vai, bas tā hadīt. Šāk teica free kick. Once again, defensive thing down on the back line. Free up chance. Once passing, all it killed. Kim lending a helping hand behind. That clearance done earlier by Sakit Sada. So an opportunity for Team Philippines. So time is off the essence now. Well, if they come away with a draw, it will be the first draw in the tournament. Well, yesterday, it was a very, very strange result when we had the opening game, which was played by Palestine and, Tuk and uh, Kyrgyzstan. It was a goal scored, well, seconds before the finish, really late into added time. <laughs> So we've hit the 90-minute mark here. Like Carlswell, he's made the effort. Time and again today, four minutes of added time. That's what we've got in this game. Sato not happy. Well, that's definitely obstruction. He's kept Pezel Chase there at bay. So free kick for the Afghans now. Well, can they make the most of it? Remember, we're down into the dying minutes of the game. Will they be able to do what Palestine did yesterday? That's the big question. It's three points on the line here. We had a very exciting first period, a slightly lackluster second half, but the Philippines actually dominating second half play, especially attack. Well, that's up in the air, and that seems off. Did it get off the woodwork? We've got to get a look at that. Well, Neil Etheridge, well, holding fort behind, but it was Amiri. Well, it got to it. And it's straight off the woodwork from Amiri. What a chance missed for Team Afghanistan here. They might have had the winning goal. And the captain denied. Well, it's just kind of levels the score, if you ask me. Team's young husband missed a similar header. was off the crossbar in the first period. And this time Amiri, well, missing its, I should say, effort-wise. That's all square <laughs> between the two squads. It's a helping hand, decides to do the about turn. So back to Girado. Girado to Mulders. Now it's Jerry Rubin. And Stefan Schrock. Schrock to Rota. Rota still holding on. I slip that through to Jason De Jong. Oh, that's another save by Fakiria. Called into action so many times today. But what a reply to that shot. So the Philippines missing out. It's Tubal with a strong left footer. Well, that's a very good effort by 
the Philippines midfielder. Full time at the Hitadu Stadium as the Philippines and Afghanistan will fail to hit the target here and in their first game. Akbar Afti Guzashta, Akbar Mohim Dakhil, and Khorij Afghanistan. Mirim the video awal ke Akbar Yafta. Khabatay and Khabatiya Kushtiya Havzaiya Shark Kabul Ebruz. آغاز شدن هدف از برگزاری نقابت ها شناسایی چل کشتیگیر برتر به تیم منتخب کشتی حوزه شرق کابل گفته شده است این نقابت ها در رده های سینی مختلف در ورزشگاه غازی برگزار شدند هشتاد کشتیگیر در چهارچوب هفت باشگاه از حوزه شرق کابل برای رایافتن به تیم منتخب کشتی این اوزه روی دو شکر رقابت قرار گرفتند بتانیم یک تیم خوب قوی و اساسی تشکیل بتیم که ذخیره تیمای فدراسون باشه که بر مسابقات بیرون مرزی و داخلی خود یک تیم قوی داشته باشه شماری از مربیان کشتی برگزاری چون این رقابت ها را بهترین راه برای داشتن یک تیم ملی قدرتمند در افغانستان می دانند هرچه مسابقه هم تروز برای زیاد دایر شده برای همی تن آدم نخبه های خوب را از کلپا جمعوری کنه تا خود فدراسون ملی پالوانی بدانه که نخبه نخبه بهتر است. و ما میتونیم از دیگه کشور را به افغانستان مدال بیاریم. فدراسیون کشتی کشور میگوید که بر روز سه شنبه و چهار شنبه امین هفته رقابت های انتخاباتی کشتی اوزه های غرب و شمال کابل نیز برگزار خواهند شد. رقابت های آزاد شطرنج در ولایت هرات آغاز شدند. رقابت ها میان هفتاد مرد و سه خانم برگزار شدند و هفت روز ادامه خواهند داشت. در مهمترین بازی ها ناهید روفی عبدالمجید رحیمی را شکست داد. مهبلا حبیبزاده صدق گل احمد جعفری گذشت و عبدالقیوم مرزایی به برتری در برابر عزت الله دست یافت. این نقابت ها در پنج رده سنی در تالار ورزشی میرویس صادق ولایت هرات میان مردان و خانم ها به گونه مشترک برگزار شدند. زاده ورزشکار کیک بوکس کشور در رقابت های جهانی کیک بوکس شرکت کند. فیروزاده ورزشکار افغان است که پیراهن تیم ملی کیک بوکسنگ ناوی را وطن دارد. وی در ماه دسامبر سال روان میلادی در وزن 60 کیلوگرم و در بخش فول کانتاکت به مسافه عریفانش وارد میدان خواهد شد. کنفدراسیون فوتبال آسیا سومین در کارگاه مربیگری درجه سوم را در کابل برگزار کرد. در این کارگاه مرب... 24 مربی از پایتخت و 17 ولایت کشور شرکت دارند. در پایان این کارگاه برای چهره های برتر گواهی نامه درجه سوم کنفدراسیون فوتبال آسیا داده خواهد شد. ایران فاتح رقابت های جام جهانی 2015 کشتی آزاد در امریکا شد. در فرجام این دیدار رقابت ها ایران 5 بر 3 یالات متحده امریکا را شکست داد و برای چهارمین بار پای در پای بر سکوی قهرمانی کشتی آزاد جهان ایستاد. در ردبندی برای به دست آوردن مقام سوم آذربایجان روسیه را شکست داد و سوم شد. مبارزات برای آینده آسوده اینجا دکتران باسکلان افغان گرده هم آمدن و از طریق ورزشان دادخواهی می کنند هدف از این مسابقه ما مسئولیت یک دختر افغان ما است که در اینجا به شهادت رسیده و ما می خواهیم می بر ملت خود بفامانیم که اگه یک فرخنده از دنیا رفته صدها فرخنده دیگه به دنیا آمده این دختران میگویند که مسابقات ورزشی را برای از بین بردن خوشونت علیه زنان را اندازی کردن و نیز کشته شدن فرخنده را نه میگویند. به خاطر چی کشتن؟ به چی علت کشتن؟ بله. چی بگویم دیگه؟ هر چی خاک کردی مردم افغانستان گله کنی باز هم کم است. ما به نظر خودم خوازادی کامل مبادله سوردیم میتونیم باسکلونی کنیم. از پای مادرم تشکر میکنیم که ما را اجازه میتن از استاد ما که اینقدر امکانات بر ما مسایل ساختن که ما بتونیم باسکلونی کنیم. این باسکلون میگن که هنوز هم در افغانستان زنان با مشکلات روبرو هستند. هنوز هم در افغانستان مشکلات بر خانم ها زیادتر وجود داره شاید از صده ها تاش مدت تاش خبر شویم 90 تا دیگهش پنهانی است پسران نیز خواهان محو خوشنوت علیه زنان هستند و میگن که قتل فرخنده عمل نابخشودنی بود باید یا را بده یا دستش قطع کنه یا بده دار بزنه که باز دیگه مردم پند بگیره این کارو نکنه
از سوی دیگر فدراسیون باسکلرانی افغانستان مسابقات جام ارغوان را نیز از ولایت کابل الا پروان در 65 کیلومتر برگزار نمود در این مسابقات در حدود 25 رکاب زن شرکت ورزیده بودند خود اونس مقام اول از اون خود کنم ما دیگه تمرین های خود یک الا یک ما پیش دیگه ادامه داشت فدراسیون باسکلرانی افغانستان میگوید در نظر دارد همچون مسابقات را در سراسر سر افغانستان را اندازی نماید تا بتوانند از این طریق جوانان را با ورزش تشویق نمایند و از سوی دیگر سطح آگاهی مردم را در برابر جامعهشان بلند ببرند مانند این کبوتران که نماد صلح هست دختران نیز آرزومان هستند که در افغانستان صلح و آرامی برقرار شود تا مانند افراد دیگر جامعه زندگی آرام داشته باشند وحید الله فیصا پای تلویزیون آشنا کابل رقابت های والیبال زون شرق برگزار شدند در ازارهای برگزار شده اسپین غربازان ننگرهار در برابر لغمان علیف و برتری دست یافت در دیگر دار دانشگاه خراسان از صد کنر گذشت در مراسم لاروس انتخاب بهترین های ورزش جهان در سال 2014 میلادی برگزار شد تیم ملی فوتبال آلمان بهترین تیم فوتبال جهان برگزیده شد جایزه بهترین دستاورد استثنایی سال به لینا تنیسباز زن چینی رسید دانیل لیکاردو راننده فرمول یک از استرالیا جایزه پیشرفت غیر منتظره سال را به دست آورد برنده جایزه روح ورزش سال به یاومینگ استرای بسکتبال چین داده شد و جایزه بهترین ورزشکار مرد سال به نواک جوکویچ تنیسباز شماره یک جهان رسید رقابت های حاکی جام سلطان ازدانشا با قرمانی نیوزلند به پایان رسید در دیدار پایانی این رقابت ها نیوزلند موفق شد استرالیا را شکست حد و بر سکوی قهرمانی بیستد در رقابت های حاکی روی چمن جام سلطان ازدان استرالیا با هشت عنوان قهرمانی سه عنوان دومی و سه عنوان سومی رکورد دارد است دور رفت مرحله مایکل فلپس در نخستین حضورش پس از هشت ماه بر رقابت های شنا مدال طلا را به دست آورد این شناگر مشهور آمریکایی در رقابت های انتخاباتی المپیک ریو 2016 میلادی در نخستین مسابقه 100 متر پروانه مقام نخست را به دست آورد در نقابت فلپس دارنده 18 مدال طلا المپیک با زمان 52 ثانیه و 38 دوم ثانیه زودتر از رقیبانش از قد پایان گذشت فلپس سال پیش به علت رانندگی در حالت مستی و توقیف شدن توسط پلیس از سوی فدراسیون شنا آمریکا به مدت 6 ماه شرکت در تمامی رقابت های شنا محروم شده بود رونالدینیو تا یک ماه دیگر از دنیای فوتبال کنار رقابتی کشتی حوزه شمال کابل امروز آغاز شدند هدف از برگزاری رقابت ها شناسایی چل چهره برتر به تیم منتخب کشتی نمنحالان حوزه شمال کابل گفته شده است بیشتر از صد کشتیگیر نمنحال در چهارچوب 22 باشگاه از حوزه شمال کابل برای به دست آوردن پیراهن های تیم منتخب کشتی این حوزه روی دو شک رقابت به زور از مهی می پردازن. یک ماست که مسابقات 14 و 15 سال ما در همی پنزون ما دوام داره و آخرین مسابقات زون از 14 و 15 سال زون شمال می باشه و سطح مسابقات ما بسیار عالی است تو دوت نه چل دو کلو می خواهیم مقام اول بگیرم و ما از کمیته ملی اولمپیک خواهش می کنیم که یک قسم مسابقات زیادتر برگزار کنه تا ما بتانیم رشد بیشتر داشته باشیم مسابقات خوب بود ما یک عدریف خود زد فدراسیون کشتی کشور میگوید که هفته آینده رقابت های انتخاباتی حوزه شمال کابل در رده سینی نوجوانان نیز برگزار خواهد شد. رافائل نادال تنس باز اسپانیایی با غلبه بر داوود فدرر در رقابت های تنس مسترز مونت کارلو فرانسه به مرحله نیمه نهایی صعود کرد. نادال در این دیدار داوود فدرر در ست های اول و سوم به ترتیب با نتایج 6 بر 4 و 6 بر 2 شکست داد. پیش از این نواک جوکویچ سرب تنس باز شماره یک مردان با غلبه بر مارن شلیج کروبات به مرحله نیمه نهایی مسترز مونت کارلو صعود کرده بود. دوره دوم تمرینی رقابت های موترانی فرمول یک جایزه بزرگ بحرین مرحله چهارم رقابت های قهرمانی جهان در پستخیر برگزار شد در این رقابت ها نیکو رزبرگ آلمانی از تیم مرسدس اول شد لوبس همنتون از انگلستان از تیم مرسدس دوم شد و کیمی راکنون فنلاندی از تیم فراری در جایگاه سوم جا گرفت خب این نگان عزیز اخبار هفته گذشته را دیدین دقیق قسمت ما خواستم 
خب بینندگان عزیز مسابقه بسیار جالبه که بین تیم ملی افغانستان و فلیپین در سال 2014 AFC Challenge Cup دیدن بسیار مسابقه جالبی بود البته افغانستان یک دو سه چانس داشت که میتونست گل, بس گل بکنن و همچنان منصور جان فخیریار نام خدا بسیار مقبول چندین گل سیف کرد و امیدوار هستیم که مسابقه های زیادتر تیم ملی افغانستان در آینده ببینیم شما خدافزی میکنیم و با امید دیدارتان تا هفته آینده شما را به خداوند کریم رحیم میکنیم